Green has admitted he's made mistakes and he's paid the price. A new documentary about his life premiered at cinemas last night. Tyneside audiences saw Gaza speaking candidly about his football career and also about his troubles off the pitch, including his battle with alcohol addiction. Derek Proud reports. I just loved entertaining. The atmosphere in the World Cup was incredible. It lifted him from being a great footballer to a national treasure. 25 years ago in Italia 90, Gaza wept on the pitch in a World Cup semi-final and the world wept with him. You don't shed tears on a football pitch if you don't care about playing for your country. Ever since then, we've followed his triumphs and disasters on and off the pitch. Last night, a new documentary film about his life was premiered in cinemas and the man whose life was almost destroyed by his drinking after his football career ended showed he still has a place in North East Hearts. The 90 minutes on the football field was me. No one can touch us. I remember just back in the uh, Euro 96, we scored that goal against Scotland. That's like, just etched in my memory. I remember watching that. Just thought it was amazing. Even and he, now he's still a bit of a hero, is he? Yeah, definitely, especially because he comes around from around here as a local lad, and he was essentially like you know one of the best players in the world at one point. So. It's just, you know, it's very inspiring. What do you think it is about Gaza that has got this enduring appeal? I actually don't believe he's got a bad bone in his body. When I first met him, he said, hello, Chris, rummaged around in his jacket pocket and pulled out a, a packet of sweets for me. And I just think he wants to be liked by people. I really do. I'm not perfect. Um, I have made mistakes and I, you know, I paid the consequence for it. And I have paid the consequences, you know. And it's like, well, give us a break for a big gun. But you know, the time to worry is when they stop right, talking about you, you know. The producers hope to sell more than three million pounds worth of DVDs of the film. Among those who attended last night's premiere were North East investors who helped fund the project. I think it's the rags to riches story has a universal appeal, you know. Um, the tears in Turin was fantastic. I think 25 years ago it was a great spectacle. And I think it'll be another 25 years before we see anything, anything close to it. But newspaper headlines showed the other side of the story and Gaza's growing alcohol addiction. I wasn't born to be an alcoholic. Um, you know, some of the bad things I did in my life, I, I didn't ask for them, you know. They come with joy and, you know, I ended up being a, a great footballer, I ended up being an alcoholic. Everything in my life's happened for a reason. I'm in touch wood with a bit of luck, you know, things might start looking up for us. And the reaction to last night's event shows that for many, Gaza's footballing triumphs still outshine his troubled personal life. He came across a really likeable guy, you know. It's a pleasure we've actually been watching him during my time, you know, as a football fan. I just wish he'd uh, come to Gateshead as a coach. And football remains for Gaza the best time of his life, the time he'd always choose to go back to. On a Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock, and he went in the world to play football again just to play football again, because that was my life. That's all I had. 